listen while I impart to you the curious tale of my life. For, as you may imagine, before coming here to the Opera House, I had done other things. I was born in a small town called St. Martin de Boucheville, near Rouen. I was the son of a stonemason named Charles and my mother, Madeline. Alas, my father, a very skilled mason, died before I was born. My poor, unhappy mother clung to the thought of the child, me, that would be born soon, that I would be everything that my father was. Disappointment I must have been. When the midwife dragged me from my mother's festering womb, she ran to fetch the local priest, Father Mansard. Most disfigured children do not. The midwife and my mother's maid never returned to the house, and Father Mansart came alone. I believe that when he saw me, even he, a man of God, could not believe. My mother refused to nurse me and threw me into my crib. She hoped I would die. But Father Mansart told her that I was still a child of God, that she must care for me as you would any child. They thought I would die, and the priest decided that it would be important for me to be christened. My mother had planned to call me Charles after my father, but that was no longer an option. She did not want this monstrosity named after my father. And so... The parish priest gave me his name, Eric, and Eric I was. My childhood at that house in Boucherville was, to say the least, a living misery, not just for me, but for my poor mother. She was a foolish and frivolous woman not equipped to deal with my unique difficulties. No, she was not. She locked me in the house and refused to let me out. She didn't want me being seen by the suspicious and superstitious locals who would have thought I was some creature of the devil. Peasants. And so, I was a prisoner in my own home. For my own safety. <laughs> Apparently. I remember the first gift my mother ever gave me. first gift, my only gift for my mother. Mask. The 
only gift she ever gave me. For even she could not bear to look upon this face. I remember on my fifth birthday, I would become quite a willful child. My mother had asked me what I wanted for my birthday. I told her I wanted two kisses. One for now and one on account for later another time. <laughs> she screamed and threw me my mask and told me to go upstairs and stay there until the guests arrived. Upstairs to my room. But the naughty and willful child that I had become. Hmm. I waited until the guests had arrived. And I took off my mask. And I went downstairs into the into the parlour where they were all set enjoying afternoon. could have heard a pin drop when I walked through the door. <laughs> My mother was furious. She dragged me by the scruff of my collar, and she dragged me upstairs. She dragged me up into the attic, the only room in the house that actually had a mirror, and I was forbidden to go in there. Absolutely forbidden. She dragged me before a full-length mirror and tore the cover away and thrust me in front of the glass. I screamed in terror. I screamed. The monster in the glass. There was a monster. And my mother told me. She said, Eric, as long as you wear your mask, the monster will not come. And from that moment I I put on my mask. It was several days later when it occurred to me that the monster in the glass was me. I was the monster in the mirror. My poor, unhappy mother. To look 